Hey guys, Manuel Sanchez here. In this video, I'm going to be answering three of the most asked questions about real estate market right now during this pandemic. Let's go. What's happening in the real estate market? Well, the real estate market right now isn't bad, but it's also not really good either. It's not 2008, I can say that, but it's also not January 2020 when we were firing on all cylinders. We were basically sitting at a stoplight. It stopped for the majority of the country and for certain cities and price points, but there's also transactions that are still happening because the basic business of real estate, for the most part at least, has been deemed essential. So any contracts that were signed before the stay at home order or any deals going on right now are still moving forward. But most people that were sitting on the fence about buying or were about to put their home on the market are holding tight. And it's not like the market has crashed. They're just sitting at a stoplight that will eventually turn green. We just don't know when. But I know that when it does, we will move forward with open roads. And I really do see the market picking back up after all of this. What should you do if you were in the process of buying or selling during the stay at home order? And is it a good idea to buy? It really depends on your financial situation. If you recently lost your job, then now might not be the best time to make a big purchase. Buying a home is a big responsibility because it's not just about the purchase price or trying to get a deal. It's being able to do the monthly payments, paying your property taxes, upkeep, utility bills, internet, among other things. And so you really need to make sure that this is the right move for you and your family. But if you're still working and have been looking to purchase a home and are in a financial position to make it happen, then I don't see why coronavirus should stop you. And to be honest, I really don't think you'll get a better deal when we come out of this. I don't think the market is going to tank and I don't think all of a sudden sellers will say, oh, we need to correct pricing by 10 or 15%. This isn't 2008 and this isn't the bank crisis. This isn't the sump loan crisis when nobody could get financing and so prices had to come down. We are in a temporary hold that will soon pass and I don't think there will be a major effect on real estate prices. Yes, there will be people that do need to sell and will adjust pricing to do so. And for buyers on the fence, this might be your best time to purchase. What's going on with mortgage rates right now? Well, mortgage rates are low, but who knows if they'll stay that way. I don't have a crystal ball that can predict where they'll go. Uh, something that I do know is that Fed has lowered interest rates, but it hasn't really correlated into mortgage rates just yet, at least. But if you are having financial hardship, Part of the CARES Act is that the banks are delaying your loan, I believe, for 90 days. Every situation is different. I mean, you still have to work it out with your bank and it's not like all of a sudden mortgages get canceled. You have to prove your hardship and there's a lot of paperwork involved. So the smart thing would be to talk to your lender first. And look, I know coronavirus has affected the entire world, but there are still contract laws that you have with your banks. They lent you a lot of money for you to enjoy your home. and so. I know many feel like they have been wrong because of the coronavirus, and it's true in some way, but it's a reality that we, everyone at least, is facing right now. So these were the top three questions that I have recently gotten from friends and clients, and so hopefully I was able to help answer them for you in this video. If so, hit the like and subscribe button to stay up to date on more videos just like this one. Also, if you do have other concerns or are looking to buy or sell your home, then I'm always here to help. I'm the easiest realtor to get a hold of. Until then, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.